it is estimated that in the next 20 years, 65% of Ghana's population will be living in urban centers. Experts in the wash sector are meeting to strategize on how best to draw policies that will deal effectively with social challenges in the water and sanitation areas when this occurs. During an interaction with stakeholders in the wash sector, Country Director for IRC Ghana, Vida Duty, advocated for a common front for all working in that sector. There are issues around liquid waste sanitation, which is even more complex. It is not about people having toilets in their homes. But when we have those toilets in our homes, how do we contain them? How do we transport them? How do we add value that we don't just collect the toilets and then go and dump it into the sea or into the river? Human behavior such as cultural beliefs still remains a major challenge to effectively deal with sanitation issues, especially in the rural areas. It is not acceptable that about 20% of the people in Ghana defecate in the open. That less than 3% of our liquid waste is processed. We ask ourselves, where do we take the 97% that is left? So these are critical issues that as a sector we need to work on. On the establishment of the National Sanitation Authority, WASH stakeholders were encouraged to engage with such bodies to address sanitation challenges. If you consider the fact that access to safe water, sanitation and hygiene has implications for health, for your education, for poverty reduction, for food security, for socioeconomic development, then I think we should be putting a lot more into access to WASH. Because if you're able to address your wash issues, you address health, you address all the other issues. As government makes plans to engage with the private sector, civil society organizations involved in the water and sanitation sectors were told to take advantage of the public-private partnership to see where they fit as stakeholders. Frank Nyonato, Metro News, Accra.